Hope you all are having a good weekend. We're here in Hillsboro, Oregon, June 7th, 2022. We're going to find out what happened in this NTSB final report. So is this aircraft here, sports cruiser aircraft, November 565 Lima. There was two souls on board. They weren't injured. Shortly after takeoff, having reached an altitude of about 100 to 200 feet above ground level, the airplane lost engine power. The pilot then switched from left to right fuel tank and verified that the pump was on. With limited time to troubleshoot and at an altitude too low for the ballistic recovery parachute, he performed a forced landing directly ahead and the airplane struck a fence and subs uh, had substantial damage. So that's how it ended up. You can see the fence is down, firefighters are on scene, cockpit survivable, good job. You can see damage to the wing, damage to a lot of the aircraft, but at least the two people walked out. It happened at this Hillsboro Airport in Oregon. And so looking at the aircraft, they're saying that this aircraft was parked here, airplane on grass tie down 50 minutes prior to the accident. And uh, this is not a usual place where this aircraft was parked. It's uneven. Um, that's a factor. So the airplane had been parked outside and not flown for about six weeks before the accident. During this time, it had been moved from its usual paved tie down um, location to a temporary grass tie down. Several rains, showers had passed through the area. Following the accident, six ounces of water were found in the fuel tank and the entire fuel system was found to be contaminated with water. Examination revealed that the water likely entered the left tank through the fuel filler cap, which was missing an O-ring seal. Although the pilot drained fuel from the left wing sump before starting it up, he may not have observed any water as the airplane was parked on an uneven grass surface, which may have resulted in the water settling away from the drain. Another possibility is that so much water was present that the pilot's sump container was filled only with water, which he misidentified as fuel rather than the globules of water typically observed um, sumping operations. So you couldn't tell the difference because there wasn't enough fuel in there to observe it. Um, so here you can see fuel with water recovered from the left, left tank. It does look, you know, it's hard to tell, but it looks like a lot of water. The Swiss cheese model, if you don't know, it's when, you know, problems keep occurring. Um, all it takes is for the holes to line up and eventually you're going to have an accident. So I'm not a pilot, but the same thing can occur in my profession. So if we stop, you know, training and we stop, you know, going over things that we need to be going over because planes don't crash every day, you know, things can slip up and eventually we could get, you know, the community hurt or ourselves hurt. And I believe it's the same thing with piloting. You know, it was parked outside for six weeks. That's one hole. Um, it was parked on uneven grass, you know, resulted in the water being away from the drain and then not checking the O-ring is another hole, you know, and then all these things line up and then eventually things like this happen and like this crash. So it's interesting, um, a lot that we can learn from in all of our professions. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want to be vigilant and, and be safe for our families. So the uh, probable cause on this one is a missing fuel filler cap O-ring, which resulted in a total loss of engine power due to water contamination in the fuel. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for the support. Please like the video. This is Arfan. I'm Keone. I'll see you guys next time.